Hello, I'm Ruth Wartsma and I live in Faribault. I have uh, known Pastors Gordon and Pastor Melissa for a number of years and have worked with them in a couple of capacities. And they're some of my favorite people. And so I bring to you this morning a little devotional. Our scripture this morning is from John 18, 28 to 40. When they took Jesus from Caiaphas to Pilate's headquarters, it was early in the morning. They themselves did not enter the headquarters so as to avoid ritual defilement and to be able to eat the Passover. So Pilate went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered, if this man were not a criminal, we would not have handed him over to you. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and judge him according to your law. The Jews replied, We are not permitted to put anyone to death. This was to fulfill what Jesus had said when he indicated the kind of death he was to die. Then Pilate entered the headquarters again, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priest have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. And Pilate said, What is truth? This passage takes place after Jesus is arrested, and he's brought before the Roman governor Pilate for questioning. Pilate finds himself in a very hard place. He asks why the Jews don't take care of this matter on their own. And they say he's a criminal and we cannot execute anyone. So Pilate goes back inside the palace to question Jesus himself. It seems that Pilate was trying to find the truth. He then goes out to tell the Jews he finds no reason to charge Jesus. Pilate could only choose one prisoner for the execution. And though he couldn't find fault with Jesus, he also wanted to please the people. So he decides to let them choose who should die. And they chose Jesus. And what about later? Did Pilate regret how he handled this? Did it cause him agony? In his heart, did he feel like he had done the right thing? We can never know this, but it does cause me to wonder. Decisions in life are not always easy. We often find it difficult to stand by what we feel inside, to not let the reaction of others affect our decision. Are we too guilty of wanting to please the crowd, to go against our gut feelings so there will not be any criticism? For a number of years, this passage has spoken to me, and I have come to this conclusion. We can rationalize most everything with the mind, but the heart remembers the truth. 
O oh Lord of truth, help us to be mindful of what is right and what is just in your sight. Amen. Amen.